بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما okay the next thing we'll talk about interval and routing in this section so we'll try to see what is interval and routing and what are the different methods to do interval and routing so starting with the first thing uh, we'll we'll try to understand why there is a need for forwarding the packets from one vlan to another vlan like in the previous sections we have discussed about the concept of vlans where with the help of vlans we can separate a broadcast domain and we can divide one lan into multiple virtual lans like uh, if you see this example here we got an accounts department and the finance department it is separate vlans so by default also i said that the traffic from one vlan to another vlan by default it will not go uh, no unicast traffic no multicast or no broadcast traffic as well because virtually once you create the vlan this will become a part of a separate broadcast domain and also we have seen uh, how we can allow the vlan traffic between multiple switches with the help of trunk concepts so by default the host in one vlan will not be able to communicate with another vlan so they can only communicate within the vlan but not with the other vlan users but what if i want a communication like if you take an example i got the users of the accounts belonging to 192.168.1.subnet um wants to communicate with let's say there is an ftp server on the vlan uh, 20 finance department and i want the users of the finance as well as the accounts should be able to access the ftp server so then there is a problem because the users of the fi finance can still access because they are on the same uh, vlan as well as on they are on the same subnet but by default the users of the accounts will not be able to access the finance ftp server here why because because they are in different vlans as well as in different subnets now you may want uh, to send some traffic specific traffic maybe all maybe specific depends so whenever you have a requirement to forward the traffic from one vlan to another vlan we need to do inter vlan routing so which means we need to have a router and with the help of that router we need to forward the packets from one network to another network so this method of forwarding the packet from one network to another network we call it as a routing probably we'll we'll see more routing concepts uh, we have a separate section uh, routing we'll see more on details on that but in our case uh, here also we are doing routing but the difference is we are doing inter vlan routing or simply we can say vlan routing because we want to route the packets because now, now when the packet is moving from one vlan to another vlan it's no more a layer to packet so as long as it is communicating within the within the same vlan it will communicate based on the layer to address that is based on the mac address but when you are trying to forward the packet from one vlan to another vlan the packet will go through the router in the form of a layer 3 packet now layer 3 packet means it will be routed uh, based on the ip address of course you need a gateway you need to configure some routing and there are different methods we do that so we'll try to see all those methods so so in this uh, section we'll be seeing how we can allow the users of one vlan to access the resources on the other vlan using um, using different options we can use a router or we can use a multi layer switch we'll be seeing all those options anyways <laughs> 